decided to hide my car back on this little dirt trail. Uh, leads back to nowhere. There's a, I guess some sort of abandoned building back here. But it seems like they're doing construction on it because there's one of those down there. John Deere. I think this is the, the back entrance. The one with the big river south labeled on top. That's a little hole in the gate for me to sneak through. There's cameras all the way on top. Something tells me they don't work anymore, but who knows? I've been here before. Only once though. Uh, so my first goal of this excursion will be to find a place to camp. Just gotta find the stairs. Stairs there. There they are. Is there a light on in this room? What the fuck? Oh wait, no, it's roof access. Let's see if... This is a good spot to camp or not. I can probably be seen from up here right now. So. Oh shoot. It's a little loose. Could set up my tent here, but I'll have to clear out all the junk. Trying to decide on whether to camp inside the asylum, mental prison, whatever the fuck you want to call it, or on the fucking roof. So I feel like I'd be seen if I slept on the roof. But who knows? Roads right there. I don't want anyone to see me one up here. Possibly camp up there. I decided to uh, set up camp here. My only worry is there's a house right over there, and I'm pretty sure if whoever lives there looks just right, they could see me. But this wall right here is pretty tall, so. I think I'll be fine. So, this is where camp is. It's in a separate building, or I think it's separated from the sort of main building, I guess. I don't really know what this one is I'm standing on. I never went in it last time. I just stayed in that one. something walking in the woods down there. Hello? I really hope it's not a coyote. I, I, I prayed if I, I heard them last time I was here. Shit, flushed. So, let's head on in the building and do some paranormal investigation. Alright, so we are on the third floor of this building. Second building, I guess we'll call it. The Big River South logo. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I thought that was like a homeless guy's camp or something. It's an elevator. I can't get over it. it is pretty cold outside, so. Probably won't have to worry about mold spores or anything. What does that say? Counselor Leonard. All right, I guess we're in the counselor's office of Leonard. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, I've seen a bunch, like a video of some dude who uh, stayed here overnight. Supposedly caught some paranormal stuff on video. But that's what every YouTuber says when they come to places like these. But just in case, I bought this little doohickey off of Amazon for like $20. So... I mean, if I put it near my camera, it kind of goes off, so. But even the owner, one of his buddies came in here alone. Shit, this, sh oh, it did go off. It's weird as fuck. But yeah, even one of the uh, owner's buddies caught a shadow figure at the end of a hallway in the solitary confinement room. Pretty spooky stuff, if you ask me. This little lunch area. I'll probably save the basement for like midnight or 3 a.m. maybe, depending on when I want to go to sleep. Shit, this thing, this thing goes off when I fucking... Oh, look, it's going off. Look at that. Alright, stop me saying for this room. Come on. And then again, it could just be detecting the power lines outside. It's also a possibility. We're now on the second floor of this building. Oh, look, this leads outside. This is where I heard an animal rustling around in the woods right here, I'm pretty sure. Let's just hope it's a deer and not like a coyote or something. Something more dangerous. Doubt there'd be any bears out here. Last time I was out here, I heard some coyotes howling in the distance, but... Who knows? I'll probably be fine. Each floor is pretty much copy and paste of the next one, so... Probably won't stay too long in this building. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It says, light shines in the dark. Maybe it's warning me that fucking police or security can see me when I fucking shine my lights through here. What was that? Bye bye love, bye bye happiness, hello loneliness. I feel like I could be, wait, I feel like I could die. Yeah, me too, buddy. All right. So this thing goes off whenever I get it near my phone. So I gotta keep it from a distance. Seems like it's detecting something. Just leave it right here. I don't know if it's just like detecting my phone, the fucking power lines or what, but I don't know, this bathroom seems pretty creepy. Seems like a spot where a ghost can go. Ooh. Yeah, might be ghosts haunting the showers. 
murders and rapes. This is the bottom floor, and apparently there is a basement to this one, so. Eh. I'll wait till I come back to this building to explore it. Right before bed. I'm um, back in the main hallway. The medical section. Someone's been drinking in here. That's not good. So apparently this building was built in, uh, what is it? They started construction in 1837 or 36, I can't remember which. And apparently they even had their own like sort of power source to this whole building. What was it? What was it called again? Fuck. Generators on it. They had gardens. They had everything to this building. It was like a a whole town just in this entire facility. This is the medical bay. It's a little, oh look. Doctor, oh look. Someone slammed the fucking chair through the window. Some sort of computer thing, I don't know. Well, this thing's going off again. And it's blinking. I guess that's a good sign. I don't know. Oh, look, it just stopped. A oh, there it goes again. Oh, look, it's a little waiting area right here. Uh, keeps going off and on. Maybe there's some lurking spirits in here with us. Time to go to the next building. All right, here's the building I went to last time. Uh, right. a little juke squad sticker right there. blood spill kit. Interesting. Four oh four. <clears throat> oh fuck. There's some new graffiti you know, I did not see last time. We are watching. It's like someone Try and break this in. Cut you. Yeah, I remember this graffiti. Some Satan shit on the wall. This seems like somewhere a homeless guy would be. I 
Here, I'll look some spray paint. I thought there was any left. No. Nah. God is gay. Interesting. Caution, microwave in use. That's interesting. No, why would you need like a caution sign for a fucking microwave is what I'm confused about. Don't trust the man. But it says do trust the man. Written by the man. Not getting much. Getting a little energy up here. I can't remember where the solitary confinement was. Oh, look. A homeless camp. That's been abandoned. Hmm. I wonder if he's coming back. Oh wait, I think that's my dick from last time. Yeah, I think it is. I think I used like a fucking like rust preventer. I sprayed it on some rust over here. It might have been, I don't know if there's a spider right there. Might have been this right here on the Sprayed on something that was rusting. Yeah, I sprayed it on this. It looks like it didn't work, but. This thing's going off again. It seems this side of the building is more haunted than the rest. It's kind of strange. Maybe some bad shit happened over here. Little lunch area right here. Yeah, the buildings are just like copy and paste of the next. It's so strange. That'd be a nasty fall right there. Looks like there's no hauntings in the lunchroom. I heard some noises down this way, so. It's a pretty cool painting. Yeah, I probably shouldn't mess with the environment too much, you know? Fuck shit up, you know? Might mess with the spirits. <laughs> this looks like the outside. Really hope there's no coyotes out here. 
Oh shoot, I think this is the front. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the front. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go there. Probably get easily seen by security over there. You know, I'm kind of risking it just being right here. Whatever. Alright, so over here there's a building I never went to. Again, seems there's three. Actually four. There's like one little building in the front, then like three main buildings on the sides and in the middle. It's pretty interesting. Oh shit, this is like right at the fucking main road. I think I'm gonna keep my lights off in this building. It's like right on the main road and I hear something. Alright, so there is music. And it's coming from that church right there. <laughs> oh, look. There's a nighttime church service going on. Isn't Yeah, look over there. I can hear them praising Jesus in there. I wonder if I should go in or not. Sounds like they're getting... It sounds like one of those like really vibrant, loud churches. I go out this way. I can even get out this way. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty locked up right here. Maybe I can go this way. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but I think that's the green comet everybody was talking about. I totally forgot that was happening. Look at that shit. Holy shit. Wait, what is that? Something else. Dude, that's so strange. What the fuck? All right, so I'm thinking maybe I need to pack up and leave as soon as possible. Cause I just saw a cop car patrolling outside the building. And I do not want to get caught here. So. I gotta head back to my camp spot. And. Listen for any footsteps around the building. Alright, I'm back outside the building I camped at. I did hear cops were just patrolling the area more, so they might not know I'm in here, but I'm just gonna head back up to the roof. So I accidentally found the solitary confinement room. This place is pretty creepy. But I could hide from the cops if they do enter the building in here. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be a good idea. Let's test the haunted levels of this room. It's not very haunted. Alright, I'm back on the roof. 
I don't think the police were looking for me because I didn't see him stop outside the building. I just saw him sort of driving around it. Probably patrolling the area, you know. I'm really considering going into the church service. It seems like one of those uh, like very vibrant, lively churches where they're just like constantly worshiping loud music and everything. Uh, so they're worshiping on the, oh, it's a Friday. Yeah, it's a Friday and they're worshiping. It's a little strange. <laughs> Alright, I'm now heading into the basement. It is pretty chilly outside, so it's possible the mold spores are dormant. Who's in here? I don't think there's anybody home. It just keeps going. This is kind of creepy. It is. Let's check our haunted meter. Basement would be pretty haunted. Well, it doesn't seem like the basement. There's a fucking door to the outside. Never mind. I guess this isn't really the basement. I hear something down there. Hello? It's probably just the wind. Hello? Oh, it's more like mold in here. Oh, look, another creepy corridor. It just keeps fucking going, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm starting to get that smell. That smell. So I just run down the hallway with a speed walk. See how far this shit goes. Jesus Christ, how long does this go? I made it to the end. It's like some Resident Evil shit. Let me poke your pussy. Oh, shoot. This is the front of the building. Dead body in the basement. Spooky. The property room. Yeah, this is like a... It's where they kept all the prisoners' belongings. What the f Oh, it's a spider web. This place is huge. Oh, the elevator's open. Do it away. This leads outside. I don't even know where I am right now. Or I was some sort of outside munch facility. There's a little bench out here. <laughs> Alright, so they're still going in there. 
They're still playing out loud music. They're still worshiping God in there. Yeah. What kind of churches worship on Friday? I know there's a certain name for them. Ah, I forgot the name. So a Jeep. Some sort of Jeep. Pulled down the little road that leads to where I'm parked. To make sure they're not. They don't find my car. It didn't look like a police car or security. It was just a regular Jeep. Which is kind of strange. Could just be some explorers, I guess. Like me, but I don't want to risk it. I don't see the Jeep anywhere over here. That's good news. So I'm walking down the little road. I saw the Jeep drive down. This is where I drove to get to where I'm hiding. If a car comes that way, I'm kind of screwed. So I didn't see any uh, Jeeps down that way, so... Go back to where my car is parked and see if there's any activity going on near there. All right, so there's nothing down in my car. I guess that Jeep just left. I have no idea what this is. Some sort of warning. That's kind of gross. I'm gonna pick that up, but it seemed like some sort of plaque. I think this is cell block number one. I think that's what this building's called. It's over on the main road. So, it's the one over near the church. Hi, dickhead. The American Heritage College Dictionary. There. It's the second floor. Oh, look. Some old tape players. Pretty cool. I took one from the men's state prison. I have it at home. It's pretty cool. I remember the first time I came into one of these buildings. Uh, it was one over near the old Capitol building. And I heard a door slam. It didn't freak me out at first because I thought it was my brother. But then he was freaked out and so was my friend. None of us had slammed the door, so. We left pretty quickly. Oh, shit. Dude, these are my favorite cookies, man. Dude. I get these things every Christmas. Too bad they're not in there. Well, it seems church service is over, unfortunately. Maybe next time I'll come join them. I 
I hope one of the churchgoers didn't see my uh, flashlight through the window. Because there is a church last, like over near another building. And I'm pretty sure some of the people that went there called security on us. So I guess this is cell block one. And that building right there is cell block two. And the building I'm sleeping on top of is cell block three all the way over there in the woods. I'm getting kind of bored. Might go to sleep soon something else. Maybe I'll go move my camp spot somewhere else. I guess I'm gonna ruin the point of the video. Sleeping inside the building on top of it, I guess. Yeah, there's something weird about the street lights here. Every now and then they'll just like flicker on and off. Especially these two right here. That one. I'm over by the old Capitol building as well. Every time I drive under it, it just turns off. Maybe this place is haunted. Landon claims he saw a ghost here one time. So. Who knows? I don't think the people who ended up in this place were very wise. Area. I'm not going to shine any lights on it because it's like right next to people. There's a car going by right there. I've pretty much explored every building now. So, I don't really know what else to do. I figure out something wrong. I video it in my shower room again. <clears throat> I'll just go in the basement in the middle building, I guess. Got nothing else to do. God is dead. Allah, Allah, who Akbar. Interesting, to say the least. See, like, they're not really basements, it's just kind of like a... I guess it has a basement, I don't know. It just has windows to the outside world. Oh, look. Another slippery wind wet. <laughs> nah, this is probably just another copy of the uh, last basement. 
really nothing special. Right up in here. Oh, are all the basements connected? What the fuck? Dude, that's crazy. Oh shit. Yeah, all the basements are connected. That makes sense. That's pretty cool. So this is the uh, sort of back, I guess, front main entry gate. There's the cars right there. This is where I tried to get in last time. First time I came. But, uh, that gate right here, there was no entry point. Probably won't stay right here too long. Because if a car or security drives up to this spot, I'll easily get caught. JCB thing was not here last time, so they're working on something here. <coughs> What's in here? Well, I hear dogs barking in the distance, or it's coyotes, but. Either one, still pretty freaky. I don't want them coming up on me. So I don't really know what else to do. I mean, I pretty much explored everything in this building. All three of them. <coughs> this is just another part of the basement, or is this like a separate? This looks like it's separate thing. Some sort of office area. Some sort of mechanical room. <coughs> well, I'd say it was a successful journey. Successful paranormal adventure. I didn't really experience anything that paranormal. I mean, my little thing went up to red a couple times but that was it I didn't see any entities or dark shadow figures <sighs> kind of bored maybe I should go explore another building then I'd be leaving my campsite unattended and someone could steal my stuff Plus, I might get caught easier. I think this is the least guarded building out of all of them. They put fences up around the other ones, so that kind of sucks. 
the ones, the other ones they put fences around were, uh, it was the one where I heard the fucking door slam. So it was either a ghost slamming the door or some homeless guy telling us to leave him the fuck alone. Hi, it's me, Jayla Hart. Oh, look, who the fuck would write slurs on the wall? I would never do such an inappropriate act like that. So this isn't a very nice break room. It's kind of sucks. All right, so it's currently 9.22 p.m. I've finished exploring uh, the entirety of this campus. And there's probably some parts I didn't explore, but probably to see them next time. But I've pretty much seen everything there is to see. So I guess this will wrap up the night unless I decide to do anything else. It's currently 7 a.m. Official sunrise is at 7.28 a.m. The church bells are ringing. Or some kind of bell is ringing over there. Yeah. We had a pretty sunset and we had a pretty sunrise. Got everything packed up now. Sun's now coming out. All right. Yeah, the water froze on the roof. We got below freezing last night. All right, this is a another one of my favorite spots to come to when I'm out here in Milledgeville. This spot's more near the Edenton area. It's a nice little creek that feeds into uh, Lake Sinclair and it has this cool bridge over it. And apparently this creek is called like Murder Creek or something like that. Can't remember but because some woman hanged herself from that bridge. I think that's the whole myth or legend behind it. I don't know. The river's a bit flooded. The creek's very shallow, but I wanna come jump off this bridge when it floods again. It's really cold right now. I don't wanna jump in the cold. So I'll do it in the summer. Uh -oh. 